Dear students, hello. Today we will discuss radiological features of pleural effusion. Hydrothorax pleural effusion. Abnormal accumulation fluid within the pleural space. They may result from a variety of pathological processes which overwhelm the pleural's ability to reabsorb fluid. Plural effusion is commonly used as a catch-all term to describe any abnormal accumulation of fluid in the pleural cavity. The lack of specificity is mainly due to the limitation of the imaging modality, given the most effusions are detected by X-ray examination. Doctor should prescribe chest X-ray examination which generally cannot distinguish between fluid types. The fluid in question may be simple transudate, fluid, blood, pus, hueless fluid. If simple fluid, then the term hydrothorax may be employed. Also, this is rarely used other than in combination of hydropneumothorax. Currently, we will discuss radiological features. Chest radiographs are the most commonly used examination to assess for the presence of pleural effusion. However, it should be noted that in a routine erect chest X-ray examination, as much as 250 600 milliliters of fluid is required before it becomes evident. A lateral decubitus projection is most sensitive, able to identify even a small amount of fluid. At the other extreme, souping projection can mask large quantities of fluid. Posterior, anterior or anterior posterior examination chest X-ray. Erect films are insensitive to small amount of fluid. Feature includes blunted costophrenic angle, blunting of the cardiophrenic angle, fluid within the horizontal or oblique fissures, meniscus symptoms. Eventually, a meniscus will be seen on frontal films, seen laterally and gently sloping medially. With large volume in effusions, mediastinal shift occurs away from the effusion node. Lateral films are able to identify a small amount of fluid as the costophrenic angle are deepest posteriorly. On this slide you can see right uh, side pleural effusion, chest x-ray examination, blunting of the costophrenic angle, blunting of the cardiophrenic angle, fluid within the uh, oblique fissures and a little shift mediastinum to the left. On the slide you can see uh, left side hydrothorax. Also similar radiological symptoms. Blunting of the costophrenic angle Blunting of the cardiophrenic angle, fluid with the oblique fissures, meniscus symptom. Chest radiograph supine. Uh, when uh, we uh, chest examination supine, a uh, large amount of fluid can be present of supine films uh, with minimal imaging changes.
as a fluid is dependent and collects posteriorly. There is no meniscus and only a well-like increased density of the hematorrhoc hematorrhoc may be visible. It is therefore especially difficult to identify similar sized bilateral effusions as the density of the lungs will be similar. In some cases we can prescribe ultrasound examination. Ultrasound allows the detection of small amount of pleural locular fluid with positive identification of amount as small as 3-5 milliliters. Ultrasound allows the detection of small amount of pleural locular fluid with positive identification of amount as small as 3-5 milliliters. On the slide you can see anechogenic fluid between the diaphragm and visceral pleura. The thoracic spine sign appears due to the excellent acoustic medium fluid interposed where the air once was. May be observed as a line column of the hypercholic scallops with posterior acoustic shadowing, extending beyond the diaphragm. The defined sonographic features of a fusion are the quad sign and sinusoid sign. Quad sign refers to the usual um, boundaries defined of plural effusion. Two anechoic posterior ribs shadows are the horizontal boundaries. Also, doctor can prescribe CT scan assessment. Today we discussed X-ray features uh, of hydrothorax and ultrasound features of the hydrothorax. Dear student, thank you for your attention. Goodbye.